Hello and welcome to the Metallics CNC cut tutorial for Basic Punch. In this tutorial we will go over some of the basic fundamentals of drawing commands and punching commands. We will start by creating a new part. When creating a new part, select your machine and then define the part's basic parameters. In this dialog, we will define our part's basic size, material, and sheet thickness. Right now, our part is in a shape of a rectangle. Note the red line around our part, which mark the sheet size. To reshape and edit our part, we will use a method called helplines. We will start by using the basic vertical and horizontal helplines. Select the vertical helpline and then click on the center of either the top or bottom line. Next, click the horizontal helpline and then mark the center of either the left or the right side of the part. Next, we will use a helpline known as parallel by distance. Click it and then insert a certain value. By using the parallel helpline, we create a helpline parallel to another line in the distance that we have inserted. Note that the helpline will be parallel to the line closest to the cursor. Now we created intersections between the helplines, and we will use these intersections to create a big rectangular hole. To create the hole, we will use a command known as line auto snap. Select a command and then mark the four corners of the hole. Note how the line snaps to the nearest highlighted point. After creating the hole, we can delete the helplines. Select Delete Helplines and then select A and press Enter. Now we will create a notch in every outside corner. Select the Notch command and then enter the following values. Click OK and then mark each outside corner. To finish our join we will create four round holes. Once again select a parallel helpline by distance, enter the following value and place four helplines as shown. Once again we will use the intersections between the lines in order to place our holes. Select the create circle command, enter the following value and then place the four circles. Our part is now ready to be punched. In this tutorial we will use manual punching and for that we will use the add punch command. Click the add punch command, select the single type punch and then select the tool you wish to use. We will start by punching the notches. To punch the notches we will use a square tool. Note if the tool you wish to use is not on the list you can add it to the list by simply writing down its name. You can also go to the tool menu and select edit tool library and then add more tools. Note how we started to punch the notches from the inside corner of the notch. We do so to make sure that the part will not be ruined by the tool. Next we will punch our round holes. As shown in the Add Punch tutorial, you can use different types of single punch in order to make your work more efficient. Next we will move on to crunches. Note that once again we selected a different tool. To crunch a hole, you must select two opposing points. 
Next, we will punch the outside lines of our part by using a rectangular tool. Also, we will add a negative value to the offset of the tool. This way, we make sure that our part will stay in place while being punched by the machine. Unless the tool is placed in an auto-index station, we need to rotate the tool 90 degrees. We can do so by reselecting the tool. We have finished placing the punches on our part. Note the unpunched areas at the edges of our part. Next, we will define the size of our sheet. Go to Set Sheet and Clamps and select the Sheet tab. In this dialog, we can redefine the size of our sheet and also change the sheet thickness and material. Now we need to generate an NC code to send to the machine. In this dialog, you can see the tools you're using for this current work and also their order. By changing the order of the tools, you can change the work order. When finished generating the NC code, a simulation window will appear. You can use the simulation window to see exactly how the machine will run and how the parts will be punched. Now, we will add a few more modifications to our work. First, we will use the stretch command in order to slightly change the shape of our part. You can only change and modify the original part, and then the rest of the parts will change accordingly. Note how the entities that were partially selected were stretched, while the entities that were completely selected were only moved. Now we will use the common cuts command in order to make our work more efficient. As you can see, by using the common cuts command, we manage to reduce the amount of hits required for each part. Once again, in order to see the new simulation, we need to generate a new NC code. This has been the basic tutorial for punch. If you wish, you can proceed to the advanced punch tutorial.